Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, as always, uh, it has been a while unfortunately, but uh, you know I have seen uh, or at least listened to it live while uh, Rosetta Lander was landing and such. Uh, so first of all, before we start, I would like to say at least uh, uh, congratulations Asa for achieving one of the greatest achievements in human history. Now you could say, is it better than, than the moon landing and such? Well, I wouldn't say so necessarily. But uh, even though it sounds strange, uh, it, for me, the, the, the dream was bigger to land on a uh, comet than um, on, uh, on Mars, which sounds really strange while I'm having like mainly a Mars channel. Well, lately I'm trying to avoid curiosity and you all know why. Uh, but we'll get into this. This will be one of those videos where it's, it's kind of meant for the expert viewer who was already into this. Uh, so if you're new uh, or, or you're from the protest, just hold on. I have like... Um, uh, maybe 15 videos by now already recorded and and such and um, I will release them when everything's ready and we have a really nice playlist for everyone so these are uh, the, the, the first manipulation marks I have seen like really clear ones uh, those are the same marks you can see in curiosity images as well but they've kind of masked it by making it a, a less less of less quality than the lessest quality uh, image you ever see well what a weird uh, weird sentence which uh, is completely broken I know <laughs> but all right I'm, I'm still super excited about this nevertheless and I uh, hope we get some better images I still have to look at uh, many more images but this is a really nice image it has been taken 40 meters above the comet surface as you can see i'll give you the link in the description and a link to the enhanced image and um, first of all we're going to start here with the original image so uh, let's check out what i'm talking about because there's clearly a mark here where you can see that there has been some manipulation going on now you can see a squared off region here, like a square has been put in there, like uh, like this here. Uh, let's grab another one, let's see, so it will make it a bit more clear. Let's zoom in and let's check out, here we have our first manipulation mark. Um, <clears throat> as you can see we can literally put a square around it, which is uh, bizarre. And yes, I am recording from a different location at the moment, but uh, that's, that's just the way it is. Can't, can't say anything about myself too much, I guess. But um, yeah, here's another manipulation mark. Let's check it out. And I'll show you. I mean, uh, look at this here. You can see that, that it's it's like blurred out, not only blurred, but I think we got like the exact tool here, uh, which they used. Uh, let's grab an area here. Let's go a bit like this. And you can see that it's it's basic. Look at it. It's literally the same tool, and it's crazy. You can look at it. I'll, I'll just remove it for you, I guess. See, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Um, it's it's crazy. It really is. So, anyways, it's a strange rocket. And what I always say is, look, uh, when we see something strange or some manipulation, look around it. And that's actually uh, the area that 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 is really important <coughs> or is being skipped or for some reason <coughs> excuse me and let's continue so why is this area so important uh, definitely this rock looks crazy but uh, to me it still looks like a rock however if you look at the shapes here <coughs> let's uh, grab the tool here and let me set it up again as usual always has to uh, have to do this live well not live you get the point you know um you can see kind of here see kind of uh, two parallel lines almost like a 90 degree angle here but um you know it's it's it still could be like a rock here and i'm assuming it's rock but let's look at something interesting here and that's basically the shadow the shadow of the rock here hold on <coughs> you can see the shadow here um, at first, you know, it looked a bit fake to me, but, uh, you know, I'll give him that, and uh, I can't make that claim. At the moment, it does look real, so uh, they haven't added black. Well, you can still add black. It is this rich. Now, in a moment, we go to an enhanced version here, and it will pop out a bit more. Now, you can see, it, it, it goes actually up, and this line actually starts from the ground up, and then it continues up. That's why we have a shadow here. Um, you can see this kind of, you know, it's 
wham, it's going down back to the surface. I have no idea why, but it looks like it has been constructed. Uh, let me find the correct layer here. I've been still been testing around. Now this this look this looks a bit crazy here, but the whole point is we're looking for the main lines, and then the main lines are easier to point out there. So <coughs> this doesn't look like a crater. Hold on, let me uh, name this brush. Right here. By the way, the protest went uh, very well, and I'm still waiting for some material to arrive. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get a cameraman, or at least he ditched me on the last moment. Um, so I couldn't trust like someone else that I didn't know with a camera that's worth I don't know three thousand euros. And if he would drop it, it would be, yeah, I would have a problem basically. So uh, I fixed someone else, uh, rec made my own recordings, recorded the march and everything, but I still haven't received the material, which is typical and uh, very lazy and unfortunate. So let's get back here. You can see that it's starting here. It's definitely from the ground. You see it's touching the, the ground here. Uh, I can see a shadow here, something is sticking up and that's, you can see by this line, that it's still part of the line lying next to this rock here now we have another line i know that those are just here we we're looking just at a couple of pixels here but they are in the original image and i know this isn't the original image but hold on just give me a second just let me finish this and you can see that there is another circle here and it's actually following this curve here like something has been constructed next to this weird wall now it's all speculation but at the moment it seems like there is indeed a wall there and there is some kind of construction built against this wall or at least it follows the curve you can definitely see the, that, that this corner is a lot higher um, see there's another circle here see you can, you can like draw it out here then it goes here um, something here and it attaches and voila it looks really weird so um well we have seen some uh, manipulation marks here and um we showed you the exact tool as you can see here i've tried to pull it out but uh yeah you can't, i can't do magic though although this might seem like magic for you if you uh, this is the first time you're seeing this I have a tutorial in the description not the best tutorial i always say that i'm not a tutorial maker but it will give you a head start and trying to do this for yourself also if you don't want to do this for yourself uh well the images are on google plus and you can find that the album link in the description while you're there follow me on google plus i keep people up to date through google plus i have reasons why i'm using google plus instead of facebook uh this also seems like a 90 degree angle but uh, you know that that's that's about it i do think that it eventually connects to this this, this piece has been blurred out, so I can't make anything out here. So that is unfortunate. Now let's go to the next area. Um, let's go back to the original image. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but like I said, it's kind of the um, kind of for the experts here or the, uh, the really interested people here that have been following me, me for a while. And when you look at this, it seems like there's something hidden here, like it has been blurred out. It's a bit too smooth, but I want you to just zoom in. You can see something sticking here in the air. Not only that. Um, whatever, it's originally, see, like, something here. Um, let's grab another look here. Still hard for the eyes, though. So I love to enhance stuff. Anyways, let's go back to the layer where you can clearly see it. Um, which one shall I take? Let me zoom out here. And let's see. I mean, I gotta warm up again as well. I mean, it has been three weeks since I have uploaded anything. Let me see what I just started. I think this one was perfect here. Typically, this one. Sorry for, um, for the wait. Uh, but that's just how it is. So, uh, <laughs> I can't help it basically. Yeah, you ca I can help it up, of course, but uh, I'm a busy guy. And you can see that there's like, um, let's zoom in a bit. Almost like a path or some kind of bigger wall around here. See, like this one's going like this and then it's going up. And you can actually, see that it goes like this. Let's see if we can draw it out. 
and then we have two lines here and then it continues up to the right here and it to me it looks like some kind of destroyed city or something uh, when you look here look again and this region is like sorry this one goes actually underneath there it's it's strange like the moment you look at this it's you you think you're looking at like you, your your brain recognizes patterns here and i'm not talking pareidolia pareidolia faces or anything like that uh, you can see almost instantaneously that stuff has been arranged there uh this area as well and but it's it's something about this it's near this anomaly something has been uh, manipulated here uh we have seen this weird manipulation square here and there's also another thing here and i want to talk about this definitely let's go back to the original one uh what we are seeing here is like in the last two videos while i was talking about the moon and everything which is one of the strangest things like seeing a yellow brownish spot it's probably not brown or yellowish but um yeah on the moon we found like a different color there but it was also um squared off like literally like 90 degree angles and everything um, so that was interesting so we look here we zoom into this little area and you can see that there's some kind of different brown sub substance here and that's that's another one of those things that is really interesting because it is completely unique to this area so let me grab the enhanced version here i think i was actually experimenting here well, as you can see it's, i'm getting crazier and crazier aren't i let's see i think it was a bit lower i gotta switch this one off sorry for the wait there now i think we'll just go for another one just go for the i think i deleted the layer by accident but that's fine and you know my whole entire point here is just that there is a some kind of different color here and who knows what that is basically we have basically no idea and it's strange you know because let me try to draw it out and it's still work in progress as you can see i'm lacking a lot of time lately and there seems to be a pattern here as well i'm just not sure what it is or what it could be um you could even say that this little little ball here hold on little ball here has a shadow here and it's casting a shadow on the ground so now it's like a ufo um i don't think it is unfortunately but uh yeah i mean look at it it's it's pretty interesting and i think that's about it i just wanted to share this with you it literally looks like this whole entire area has been aligned especially like when you zoom in and that's the whole point and you start following these lines i mean now when you look at this uh this little area here you can see it's it has a square to it and we have more square stuff it's all about finding the angles and the lines because unfortunately again another mission another image and we're just not seeing enough detail and like i showed you it's really easy to um to hoax an image wait i haven't finished that video yet uh, lacking time and everything but i'll show you in that video how easy it is to manipulate the viewer and like uh, like many people um in the past have told us never trust anyone or anything including me uh, that means that you have to try to do this for yourself as well maybe try and uh, look up some documentation about um, uh, tools i'm using or which tools could be like uh, maybe improved even more uh, it's all it all depends on you and i'm just making the same mistake again but see what this is another one of those interesting shapes i mean we're still on the comments so you know it could be like natural but it it eventually those 90 degree angles really stack up <laughs> and that's that's basically the whole point i'm not going to make a video if i'm just seeing one little square so you know i'll give everyone the benefit of the doubt why not and yeah i hope you take a look at this on uh, google plus link in the description let me know what you think about this i think that this is definitely the, uh, the main anomaly here i hope you've seen that i've um, i mean I, i'm quite shocked as well i uh, had this the result i was just showing you a second ago uh by uh, doing the same that they did like uh, this this kind of cover-up place here just doesn't make sense now 
See, it's kind of like something is going up and, then, and it aligns. And this little square again, little square here, kind of elevated. One dot here, one dot here, one dot here, and it's all going up. Very interesting. So yeah, I'll need, I, I need some, uh, definitely some more time to look at the Rosetta images. Um, I'm sincerely interested. It's, uh, it's like a dream come true for me, at least. And I think it's, it's, it's so exciting. Like, um, I don't know if anyone ever played like a space game or simulator thing. And uh, you always are interesting in, can I land on this asteroid or not? <laughs> so you can try to do that, but uh, usually you fail 50 times before you uh, get anywhere. Unfortunately, you don't have time for playing games. But have a nice weekend. I think I'll quit here. And uh, let me know if you agree. I mean, like, it's like your brain immediately picks it up and there's something wrong in this area. Particularly that area next to that blur spot. And like I said, it's 40 meters above ground. I think we should get a lot better images. But uh, let's see. Let's see. It's all interesting and exciting. And um, thank you for listening. You'll see the, um, the anonymous protest video soon. At least when I'll get the material, I'll start editing the video. I really want to make something epic, you know, and... Uh, Try and keep my uh, video skills a bit fresh. Since I don't use them that often anymore. Which was very annoying. When I, uh, yeah, I was making um, another video this week. I also did it and I was uh, almost completely lost. Well, I could still make the most amazing uh, animations. Like recording a video and then editing it. So those are two different things. At least um, that's my personal opinion. Have a nice day. Have a nice weekend, evening, day or morning. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and see you in the next video. And I promise you the next video will be absolutely crazy. And um, I'm even thinking of making a time-lapse that video, but you'll see that. It's kind of a surprise, so to say, yes and no. Depends how, um, how you follow my channel, if you watch my videos and everything, if you listen to me. And uh, yeah, once again, have a nice video. Um, have a nice day, nice video too, right? Thumbs up subscribe and see you in the next video